This week on The Muse, it's Park and Recreation Month, and we've got everything you need to know about the awesome staff members who make up our Community Services Department. Plus, did you catch the 4th of July fireworks show? Serena Marie did, and she's got all the details on an awesome fireworks spectacular. And summer is here, and the temperatures are hot, but we've got the latest on how you can stay cool this summer. It's all ahead on The Weekly Muse, and it starts right now. Hello, City of Paris. I'm Stephen Hale from the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, and welcome to the Muse. July is Park and Recreation Month. This July, we are highlighting how our community grows through the essential services offered by the City of Paris Community Services Department. Since 1985, people in the United States have celebrated Park and Recreation Month in July to promote building strong, vibrant, and resilient communities through the power of parks and recreation, and to recognize the more than 160,000 full-time park and recreation professionals, along with hundreds of thousands of part-time and seasonal workers and volunteers that maintain our country's local, state, and community parks. This year's theme, Where Community Grows, celebrates the vital role park and recreation professionals play in bringing people together, providing essential services, and fostering the growth of our communities. As park and recreation professionals, you make a positive impact on the lives of your community members every single day. Let's come together this year and show the world just how much park and recreation means to our communities Join us in celebrating all month long, and if you get the chance, thank one of our awesome community services staff members for all they do for our parks. And the 4th of July fireworks show was a hoot and a half, and our very own Serena Marie was there to take in the entire spectacular. Serena, what do you have for us today? What a time the city of Paris had on July 1st, 2023. Hundreds of community members enjoyed water jumpers, food vendors, games, sports cars, and so much more. Let's hear from staff, the mayor, and a community member to see their take on this awesome event. Hello, City of Paris. My name is Arsenio Ramirez, Assistant Director of Community Services. I come to you from the beautiful Morgan Park where the city is hosting their first annual 4th of July celebration. We have a movie in the park, the sound lot, and at 9 p.m. our fireworks go off. Hey Paris, this is your mayor, Michael Vargas. I'm at Morgan Park for our first inaugural fireworks show. This is spectacular. I know it's real noisy right now. They're getting ready to start a movie. We had water jumpers, we got vendors, we got food. I mean, hey, this is an awesome first time and I'm very happy we're able to bring this to our community. First time, the kids are enjoying themselves. But they were good. Happy to be here. Real good. And all I had was a plastic. This is Serena Marie reporting for PTV. We'll see you next time, Paris. Thanks, Serena. Temperatures are rising and the cooling center is now open only for seniors age 50 and up at the Paris Senior Center, located at 100 North D Street. Anytime temperatures rise above 95 degrees or higher for more than three days, we'll open the cooling center. It's open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Also, now is the time to pick up your $15 discount code at the Paris Senior Center for swim lessons at Drop Zone Water Park. Promotion codes are only valid for swim lessons at Drop Zone Water Park for the sessions listed on the flyer on your screen. Promotion code valid for Paris residents only, and there's a limit to one per household. This is also while supplies last and supplies and spaces are limited. For more information or to pick up your promo voucher, please visit the Paris Senior Center at 100 North D Street or call 951-657-7334. And now let's take a look at the map for your five-day forecast. Summer has kicked into high gear and that means temperatures will start to rise this weekend, cooling slightly as we head into next week. 
The wind will blow mostly out of the west. The UV index in Paris will be listed as extreme all week, which can cause dehydration and sunburn. So make sure and keep sunblock and water handy if you're gonna be outdoors. Stay safe, Paris. And now back to the studio. All right, wrapping up today, we're ready for what should be an awesome weekend. The weather is hot and that means splash pads are back. The splash pad at Enchanted Hills Park is now open. It's currently open from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m., seven days a week. And beginning on Thursday, August the 10th, the hours change from Monday to Friday, 5 p.m. to 7 p.m., and Saturday to Sunday, 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Friendly reminder, Mercado Park Splash Pad is currently closed due to repairs, but come on out and cool off in the splash pads at Enchanted Hills Park. And it's time to pull out the lawn chairs, grab the kids and a few blankets, and head on into town as we get ready for our summer series, Movies in the Park. Take the best seat in the city at our Movies in the Park series, where we'll be featuring some classic throwbacks mixed with our favorite recently released flicks. Did we mention community services will serve free popcorn and cotton candy? Come on out and bring the whole family and let's have some fun. We kick things off with Lyle Lyle Crocodile on Friday, July 21st at Getz Park, Mulan on Friday, August the 4th at Rotary Park, Super Pets on Friday, August 18th at Frank Eaton Memorial Park, and all movies start at dusk, so don't be late. And that'll do it for your weekly muse. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at City of Paris, and subscribe to the Paris TV YouTube channel for around the clock continued coverage wherever you are from your tablet or smartphone device. From the Clarence Muse Center in Paris, California, I'm Stephen Hale, and that's the muse. <laughs>